we visit the West Indies Rum Distillery for one of their fabulous and informative rum tours here on the island of Barbados. Here we are, arrived at the States, Rum yes. Distillery. This is Joanne and I'm Ramon, business center manager. So I just want to officially welcome you to today's visitor center. The smell is amazing. Oh, I can yes. mm. oh. mm -hmm. smell that. Oh my god. Yeah. You know you're like you could do a scratch and sniff. I wish we could do that. <laughs> it is so it is amazing. This here is officially known as the Batstead Beach. It came from Bay Street from where Harbor Lights is present day. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah, we've been there. Oh that is a big bat. created in Barbados, am I correct? Barbados is cited as the first place of rum. Yes. Look at, I haven't actually realized. Oh man. You love me a oh yeah, this is becoming. <laughs> and the door is not a door, it's painted on. And In that amazing wait. effect. Things used to be way Good exercise with the booty. <laughs> Another this amazing malty smell right now, okay. guys. So where we are in, this is fermentation. This is not mm. the only fermentation area. Just hold your helmet. 
Yeah, uh, don't, let, don't drop anything in there. Yeah, I know. But I'm going to have to fish it out. <laughs> I'm actually on the top of the vat showing you what actually is happening in the process. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. the plant. Barbados was blessed with sugar cane. As a matter of fact, at one stage, it was the world's largest producer of sugar cane. So we still honor the plant in the making of rum. And then because Barbados is blessed with the most fabulous sunshine, they're using the rays from the sun in the name. So planter ray, how fabulous. double aging here at West Indies Rum Distillery. <laughs> so this is where we are going to try yes. barrel strength rum. Barrel strength, barrel strength We're now. We're trying two different sets. This is barrel strength, meaning it's going to be in the like 60s. Oh, so wow. and this is from molasses, which means you will get traditionally pastry or licorice type oh, flavor oh, notes. Okay. So this is how we're going to taste it. You're going to go from one nostril to the next. Yes. And you're going to take a sip, cheek to cheek, back of the teeth, and then we swallow. I'll take a yellow sip, because I'm trying to have a better day. Ain't going to get delirious. Guys, and then just like nectar. All the day. Starting to feel okay. <laughs> so this one here is also from cane juice, so it is herbaceous, Ooh. grassy. I can smell the difference already. Yeah, so this one has oh, not wow. been this one has been there in the is pot a still once. Difference already. That's a good overflow. Because this is the old label that's still in rotation. Okay. This is the cut and dry. Nice. So, before you taste, I want you to smell it. Oh, my goodness. Listen, uh, I think someone called me. Oh, 
hold you and we just stay here with the bottle and watch it while you're gone. This is, this is the smell of Barbados. Mm -hmm. so Glass is leaking, so I don't know what's going on with it. You want to know why? Because <laughs> it wants more My love. Me. My glass wants to me. get the bag, well. No! <laughs> no, it's like the Titanic where it's <laughs> Finish the rum before it sinks. Finish the rum before it sinks. Double Ooh. aged. Ooh, Because it's aged in bourbon and cognac barrels. Oh, wow. No wonder. Look at the sun coming through with it as well. Oh, what, what a tour. But there's no reason Okay, this is Joy and Jane. Yeah, just met a lovely lady. That's why I love this country. <laughs> I used to live here many years ago. Okay. That's Joy. With Mark. <laughs> <laughs>